Hey everybody, it's Dusty from Dusty Beards again. Today we're going to go over something that I never thought I would do for a while anyways. I had a request on my live the other day to uh, to dye my beard and, and to talk about it in my video. If you'll notice, we're a lot darker. All the old man grays are gone. Um, so we did it. I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of dyeing your beard, uh, what you can and should not use in your beard. So stay tuned, we'll get into it in just a second. All right, everybody, so let's get into it. As I stated, there are pros and cons to dyeing your beard, what you should and shouldn't use. Everybody's skin and everybody's beard is different, so it doesn't all apply to every single individual. What I use is the Jess for Men. It's ammonia-free. It does have a chemical in it that breaks down the hair that lets the dye penetrate the hair. Every hair dye does, but the ammonia is very harmful on your skin. It's very harmful on the hair. I don't recommend it. They do have some some dyes out there that are very liquidy and you pour them in and rub it in as you pour it in. I'm not into that kind of stuff. This stuff here, if you can see it, it's got the little brush. You just brush it in, it's a gel. You mix it, two gels together, uh, brush it in, it's done. The pros of having your, your beard dyed is it looks fuller. It looks a lot fuller. Um, it's not because it's dyeing your skin, it's because it's so much color in one place that it makes it look like it's more full. The Jess for Men has got a softener in it, so when you get out of the shower, you don't have to really do much more than you already did. Um, that's what I've enjoyed about them so far. I've used it two or three times. If you missed my live, go back and check it out. It's in my live replays. I've got a, a crazy story about how I dyed my beard wrong one time and it came out absolutely horrendous and I had to live with it because I wasn't shaving my beard off. The cons of dyeing your beard is the chemicals that are in there that could harm the hair, could harm the skin, especially if you leave it in too long. They tell you that you need to follow in the instructions on the box. Now it's very hard to do because this just for men, it tells you to have it in there for five minutes, wash it out, you're good. But if you have a beard as big as mine or bigger and you try to put that in there, by the time you get half of it done, five minutes has passed. So you've really got to get it in there and do it fast. Now, what I do is I take the gloves they give me, I, I mix it up and I scoop it out with my hands and I rub it in like a shampoo. That way I'm, I'm done with it. I don't have to worry about it. And then I take the brush and really get it in there. I, that way I don't, I don't waste my time. I'm not, I'm not burning one side of my face and doing the other. The only downfall that I've gotten with Just For Men is the dryness that it leaves in your skin. Um, I wash mine out twice and it gets it out pretty well. Uh, make sure you wear the gloves. If it gets on your skin, it's gonna be there for a while unless you take something and really scrub it out. But there are some, like I said, there are some harmful chemicals out there. So be mindful of what you're getting. Be mindful of what your skin can tolerate and what your hair can tolerate before you do it. Don't ever go get a dye and just throw it in your beard and think that, oh, it worked for several people, so it's gonna work for me. That's not always the case. It's just like your beard oils and your balms and your butters. You wanna make sure you're getting what your skin and what your hair needs. So don't just think because there are people out there that say you shouldn't dye your beard that you don't, that you shouldn't, but be mindful of what you are doing. So if you leave your, your dye in your beard too long and it damages the hair or you don't like it or whatever happens, you have some options. You can wash it out, you can try to re-dye it, or you can shave your beard off, which is highly unrecommended. Do not do that, um, unless you absolutely have to. Now, if, if it gets so bad that you have to cut the hair off, cut the hair off. The good thing is your beard will always grow back. That's what my grandfather taught me at a young age. If you get a haircut you don't like, the hair always grows back. Some are more lucky than others, but it will always grow back. So again, be mindful of what you're putting in your beard. Be mindful of what you are doing with it when you put it in your beard. And make sure you're getting something that doesn't have harmful chemicals in it, like ammonia, that will damage the hair and will damage the skin. Check your boxes, check your ingredients, do your research. Don't just go buy something off the shelf and throw it in your beard and think, oh, I'm good. I do that every time I use my product. I, I have sensitive skin myself, so just be mindful. So I appreciate the idea for the video. If you have any ideas, questions, anything, leave them in the comments below. Leave me a like. If you have not subscribed, please do so. I would greatly appreciate it. You guys stay healthy, stay safe. And until next time, I'll see you around.